been hiking all day. It was really thick and uh, tons of trees and alders. Couldn't really do a lot of filming uh, the first section of the hiking. But yeah, we're cranking it out here in sheep country in Alaska. Got a nice little lake behind me, tons of sheep country all around. We're gonna get to that little lake before the sun goes down and it gets too late. And we're gonna camp there, do our sheep hunting from that location and hopefully find a big old giant ram somewhere in these rocks, gnarly country. So we're camped pretty high up on this mountain. And uh, yeah, we see some sheep, so weather's been kind of inclement. Needless to say, it's been pretty stormy all day today, but um, I'm gonna get some video of these ewes so you guys can see what we're doing here. Um, but yeah, we're just up here. Jason's glassing up there and Dan's hiking in. We're just sheep hunting, it's fun. Try to catch those hues. Yeah. Hues. She's feeding there. Can you see her? Not yeah, really. But, uh... Oh, yeah. To zero visibility right now. The uh, clouds are up high. We're getting socked in here. Hopefully it blows out. We can start seeing a little bit more. But so far, just the use today. Uh, got a lot of day left, and hopefully it'll clear up. So that's sheep hunting, though. If you're sheep hunting, you'll probably experience a day or two like this anywhere. We are hiking up the mountain today, leaving base camp. Um, we're camped about 800 feet below our hiking or our glassing position. So every day we hike out of here, climb up the mountain, look for sheep. Looks like it's gonna be a pretty good day today. Not as much rain like it has been the last few days, so. Yeah, should be good. Sheep hunting day three. We've seen some ewes and some bears, but nothing, nothing that we wanna chase yet. We're hiking up there. Get a good look. Yeah, fun stuff. You can move it around and stuff. 
show what it would go like on your foot. Uh, yeah. It's awesome. Well, the last people that uh, have been up here from evidence is this old school crampon. Looks to be from like the World War II era, um, which is pretty awesome. The last dudes that were climbing up here, maybe they're hunting sheep, maybe they're commercial hunting for sheep, maybe they're just exploring mountains and, and doing a mountaineering expedition, but it's really neat to follow in somebody's footsteps with a, a relic. Our sheep hunting gear is a little bit better than this now, but it's amazing how well that stuff lasted. So it's pretty neat. It's kind of a part of the, the journey up here. It's an expedition. It's not all about just killing, it's walking and footsteps of, of dudes that came up here and probably a couple women as well that hiked up here in nasty conditions with bad equipment on our standards and looked at the same views and had the same appreciation for the beauty that exists up here. So it's kind of cool. So this is something that's not exactly in the forecast. And you can never predict. Um, there's all this fog. And that really gets you socked in. So when you're sheep hunting up here in the mountains, there's so many different variables. Not only are you up high in the mountains and pushing it to the max, but you also have to deal with the weather element that is very unpredictable. We can kind of have an idea whether it's going to rain or snow and have an idea what the temperatures are going to be but it seems like fog and getting socked in and those kinds of environmental elements are so hard to predict but looks like this afternoon we're going to get socked in pretty good um and then yeah we just have to roll with the punches and keep hunting um it's day three so we'll see we've got a lot of hunt left and uh i have no doubt that something 
is going to show itself before too long. So, all right. But yeah, that's sheep hunting. So many different things to <laughs> battle. getting socked in looks like we're hiking down to camp now you can barely even see Dan in the fog there he's only 50 yards in front of me but yeah the, cl the cloud ceiling lowers and you are now in the clouds and not a whole lot of visibility so when you're high altitude hunting and sheep hunting a lot of different things come into play and that's why we do it because it's extreme and it's fun and you're never going to experience like it anywhere else oh well, we're going to keep growing towards camp hopefully we don't get lost so i think we'll be all right we spent most of the morning socked in raining real hard in our tents and socked in low visibility just like it was last night so have a little bit of gap in the weather as you can kind of see um stopped raining cleared up just for a little bit so it looks like it's coming again so i'm gonna try to get up the mountain and uh get some glassing in before i get socked in again so plan is tomorrow for us to move camp um head up the valley a little bit more and look into some new country that i have seen rams in before in the past that we can't see from this location so that is the plan we are going to move camp a couple miles up the valley and hopefully weather will allow us to look and actually hunt a little bit but we can't control that we can just control our attitudes, our plan, and giving it the best we have. So, and we've been doing good with that so far. Good attitudes and hoping for the best despite the weather. All right, well, hopefully I see something when I get to the top. Well, got to the top. It's still socked in pretty hard up here. As you can see, it's kind of coming in and out. Um, little windows of glass. I'm gonna stay up here the rest of the time and just see if I can get a look at something, if things clear. Uh, but really hard to see, conditions are very tough. So, kind of a weather day. Um, unless I see something and then things clear up in the next hour or two. So. It's blowing about 30 up here and raining. It's cold. Hopefully we'll see something today or tomorrow when we uh, shift gears and move camp so we'll keep you guys posted all right we're leaving our canvas spot headed up the valley in search of a shooter ram so a little cold this morning a little bit socked in again you can see the mountaintops but good day to hike might catch a ram hiking in up this valley too so just got to keep moving if you don't find what you're looking for you just got to keep moving pushing through so that's what we're doing Packing this stuff for going, right? Yeah. Not leaving this stuff. No, we're packing it, yeah. Little mountain ptarmigan right here. You can literally get like feet away from them. They're a perfect little snack if you are in dire need of some sustenance out here. 
but we have plenty of food relatively speaking got a couple candy bars at the mountain house so i'm not going to whack one of these guys just yet we're going to head keep heading up this canyon got jason leading the way here um, really good spot to hunt and camp up the end of this canyon a couple miles up and uh yeah we're going to keep trudging hopefully we run into some sheep fun stuff beautiful country unbelievable landscapes doesn't get any better only thing that would be better would be a nice big ram to show up for us As you can see, we made it up to the camping spot up here. A little socked in still, but we can still see the valley halfway decent. Found a pretty decent place to camp. When you're on this like cold stone like this, like slate, I prefer to have a cheap little foam pad because it's all rock and most of it's sharp and it's so cold um, so that's kind of why I use what I use here Let's see I've just got one of these like We're starting our ascent here. Um, Got to hike about a thousand feet to get up on the top of this uh, ridge, and then we can see a ton. So, hoping you can see our camp down there. Um, get up on here and see what we can see. It's going to take a while. It's pretty much just straight up this shale face, but uh, doesn't get any better. It's fun. We had a long hike yesterday. I'm looking at sheep sign right now and uh yeah it's good good morning nice clear morning too we, as you can see we don't have the weather bothering us um it's supposed to be pretty clear for most of today as well so yeah we're just gonna do it we're sheep hunting we're gonna hike and keep pushing keep moving elevation and see what we can dig up hopefully the weather holds out for us I made it up to the top of the first ridge. You can see it's crazy country. It's always so rewarding to get to the top. It's amazing.
those sheep droppings look like they're from this morning. I've got to go really slow up on this ridge. Could be a big ram just right around the corner. So, gotta just go really slow. That's really fresh. And there's so many places they can hide in these little rock crevices. Just following sheep trails. They definitely leave sign behind. Eventually the sheep trails will lead me to the sheep. At some point, hopefully. Hopefully it's a big ram. All right, I found my, found my first sheep of the day. A little, a little band of ewes. There's three of them. Just kept following these sheep trails and I ran into them. They're just bedded like 200 yards away. Hopefully there's some rams around too. Fog's coming in so hopefully it doesn't screw me up. Love sheep hunting. It's cool to see them like this. Day six. Still chasing sheep, just not the right ones. That's why sheep hunting is what it is. You gotta keep following the sheep trails until you find something good. Oh man. 
bugs are out today though. Just totally in the clouds. Um, that's the risk you run when you're, you know, hunting high altitude, high mountain stuff. You hike all the way up here, spend hours, you get up high, and then weather changes, and you get socked in, or you get fogged in, or it starts raining, and you lose visibility. But you know that's what makes hunting like this kind of special, and very, very difficult, and it makes you want to keep coming back until you succeed. There's a reason why we do it. It's fun, challenging. It's the ultimate challenge. So, but yeah, this is what it looks like. Not a whole lot of visibility. <laughs> we sat up on the mountain for 12 hours. It's about to get dark. Um, never cleared up, never got any kind of visibility. Saw those U's first thing, and then uh, then just locked up on us. So. Chalk this sheep hunting day up to a weather day. Gave it a good try. Um, but it's time to get back to camp before uh, it gets dark and we're really socked in and things are even more slippery. It's been raining on and off all day. So it's really important to have good weather gear, um, good rain gear, and stuff that you can really stay dry sitting in this stuff all day long. So not all sheep hunting is sitting in sunny, grassy hillsides looking at sheep. <laughs> So, all right, hopefully tomorrow will be better. We are hiking out of our previous camp. We just got weathered in pretty hard. Um, and it looks like weather's still coming. So it's supposed to rain a ton next couple days, but we still got a couple more days to hunt, see what we can dig up. Hopefully it's clear enough for us to see the mountains, but yeah, we just moved camp. Not seeing a whole lot up there. So gonna keep trekking a couple miles down the mountain. Uh, keep hunting that's all we can do just keep hunting can't control the weather can't control the animals so having fun <laughs> these guys are a little bit behind me I'm trying to choose the best path through all these nasty rocks and snowfall and all that stuff good stuff that's why you have trekking poles Looks like a good spot to camp for the night. Uh, had a pretty good push to get up there. You can see Dan. Dan's off in the distance there. You can barely see him. It's right. Get my stuff here. It's right there. So we do good. Hard hike. Jason's there, down there hiking, looking for a camp spot. So all kinds of different terrain. You hike through sheep hunting. I mean, from like jungle alders, knee high willows, chest high willows, giant rocks, nice spongy tundra, all kinds of stuff. Um, yeah, we've basically been through it all so far. So I'm gonna keep hiking, get down to camp, have some lunch. We've been through hiking for about three hours. So it's been a good push. Hopefully we'll find something this afternoon.
well, we got to our camping spot and uh, set up camp and it has done nothing but rain since we got here. So rain, we've been kind of socked in. So we're just kind of riding it out. Hopefully it'll clear up, we can glass a little bit. There was about an hour in there when I jumped out last and just got absolutely soaked. So we're doing what we, we can do and making the best of it. But as you can hear, the rain is just not giving us a whole lot of options at this point, so it's all right. If it does clear up in a little bit, we'll go out there and blast and try to find something. Well, just woke up and see zero visibility still, almost. I mean, 30, 40 yards, so not much we can do today other than Hopefully this weather clears out. Um, this is where the mental part, not only sheep hunting is very physically demanding, but it's also mentally very demanding. You know, when you work really hard and get up to spots just for the weather to sock you in like it is right now, not much you can do about it. Sheep hunting is, you just got to deal with the elements as they come and, and things that you can control, you control. And, but, so we'll see. We're still giving it a good try. Hopefully it'll clear up and, and we'll look and start hunting. But until then, we're just gonna be in our tents and sipping a little bit of coffee and waiting for this stuff to clear out. Long, long haul out of here. Loading up to get out. Good sheep hunt. Didn't come home with an animal, but had an awesome time and lots of memories. So, get to load it up and head home and get a real meal and a shower after 10 days of being out.